Hello friends, welcome to learn Microsoft Word. Choose here blank document. Let us start with new topic. In previous lecture, we had seen font, paragraph. Okay, we will see this in later. Let us continue with the new topic. Go to insert tab. Now, insert tab here we have too many options, but we are going to start with shape menu. Okay, here. We have a number of shapes with category. These are some basic shapes. Then arrows, equation, flowchart shapes, star, callout. Okay. How to use this shape? Simply here, suppose we want to draw triangle. Then simply click on shape and hold the mouse. And then raise the mouse button. Here is the shape is formed. Okay, whenever we draw any shape, then format menu will open. Okay, here you have a lot of option about shape. Here is the filling of shape. You can simply fill a, a plain color or you can also fill here more colors than all these colors. You can choose colors from palette. Okay. You can also choose dark shade or light shade. Then here are some you can also insert picture within the shape you can choose any picture from your local computer okay as well as here so we have gradient options you can also set gradient If you go to more gradient, then you can choose here more options as well as you can also choose here different color for gradient. Okay, choose the tab and you can choose here color. Like this, you can use gradient. Here you have options, direction, or like this, only two color gradient. You can also use color gradient transparency okay brightness all these things are adjusted from format shape menu okay then after that there is texture you can also choose a texture in texture you don't have any option to change the color or all, all things you can only set a transparency option as well as offset option okay suppose here uh, we feel like this pattern for example this one then here you have option rotate with shape suppose we rotate this shape simply rotate this shape by putting cursor here suppose we lock this option uh, uh, then pattern will remain same and only shape get rotated and if we on this option then pattern is also rotated along with shape okay after that there is outline option you can also choose the top outline as well as you can also choose the outline color and different style of outline okay after that here are some shape effect you can also present this shape with different effects here are preset effects then shadow effect okay before going to use shadow, let us keep this preset simple. And now let us see the shadow effect. Inner shadow as well as here is the outer shadow. Once you choose the shadow, then here you also have some shadow effect, some shadow option. Here is the shadow options shadow go to shadow options and then here are some shadow options transparency you can also increase or decrease transparency you can also adjust size of shadow as well as 
if you want blur shadow angle of sh shadow okay as well as distance of shadow all deceptions are available for shadow suppose here we don't have shadow then there are reflection option you can see here the reflection as well as bevel and 3d rotation you can check all these options as well as you can just check the extra setting of these options okay like this you can simply use the shape now let us delete this shape simply click the shape and put delete again insert some shape suppose here i use text box in text box you can directly type the text Okay, you can also increase or decrease the size as per the normal text. Okay, after that, within the format here, you can also give the world art style to your text, as well as you can also align the text top, middle, and bottom. You can also change the direction of your text, rotate 90 degree, horizontal or vertical. Okay. Like this, you can present text within the text box. But here we already use text box option. But suppose we have some uh, different shape. Suppose here. We have shape like this, some flowchart shape. Okay, and now we want to put text within this shape. Then how to put? Simply right click on shape and go to add text. Okay. Once again, see this. Right, select the shape, right click on shape and go to the add text. Then you can add text here. You can also change the color of the text all these things are available here okay now the align text you can also give the different text effect here shadow reflection glow like this okay here also you can also check the shape fill shape outline here also we have different options of shape with text okay then you can also change this shape here is the option suppose here we take new shape smiley whenever you see like this uh, extra nodes on this shape then these nodes are useful to change the shape slightly like this you can change the shape slightly. Uh, let us let us uh, choose like arrow. Here we have more options. Here are look look at the yellow yellow part, yellow nodes. You can also change the shape like this. Okay. Then is, these extra nodes are used to change the slave shape slightly you can also rotate the shape okay okay if you have a paragraph and you want to place shape within that paragraph then here you have a different option here are is the position by using this position you can set yourself within the paragraph you can also here use wrap text suppose let us see this I want to type here something okay here is the wrapping up text uh, shape 
you can also grab this text within the behind the shape in front of the text yeah uh, for, for using this option you have a paragraph then only you can see this option effectively type any paragraph and then apply these options okay you can also choose the position wrapping text as well as suppose this shape we put this shape uh, uh, this shape is already uh, in front of green shape if we want to set uh, it back then bring bring to front but we want to send backward then bring to backward send back send backward suppose here we have one more shape let us change the color of this shape okay now send backward it means what it shape only goes backward to green shape but in front of blue shape okay and suppose we directly send back it means what its shape goes in the back of all the shapes okay it will go back of all the shapes you can use these options as well as you can also use the alignment of this shape okay here is the simple topic how to create shape here you have a lot of shape you can practice it and mostly uh, whenever you have one more thing uh, suppose here we want to uh, create flow chart then simply we use this option after that as we know that within the flow chart uh, uh, arrow uh, roll up arrow is also important therefore you can put arrow if you use shift keyword then the this arrow always in straight line after that i have one more shape and then we can align this shape within the can al simply align this shape to arrow you can also use arrow like this insert shape arrows you can also use arrow like this okay you can also edit the arrow here is the direction like this you can also edit the arrow okay here also you can change weight weight of arrow increase the weight of arrow all here you have a different different options okay like this you can use a shape but if you want some design you want to create some design within the shape then how to use it suppose we want to simply create a banner here is the shape after that if i want to write here something then i use here text box okay this is tag line but i don't want to display this text box here therefore go to format here choose the no fill as well as choose the outline no outline now you are free to take uh, place this text as per your choice okay like this suppose we want here some shape fill this shape don't want here outline no outline okay now we want to again place same text within this shape you can also directly apply here text box okay now you can also increase the size of this shape
then shape no outline as well as no fill like this you can adjust this text within the shape like this you can create a different type of layouts now after uh, successfully creation of this layout by using a uh, shift key you can select the shape property select and group it now it is appearing group but if you want to edit the shape then you can also right click the shape okay then why we use different text box within this uh, oval if you want to uh, right click right within the oval there we will see what we, uh, what is the problem uh, add text and now i want to write this much big text okay now i want to increase here is the problem because here the text size is limited here we don't have limit on text size because your text box is different and background shape is different but here whenever you want to type it in the shape then there is limit of some text size okay like this you can create a different different type of brochure for practicing okay thank you for watching the lecture